Hello and welcome to this video that shows you how to set up your works cited page in MLA formatting using Google Docs. So um, I created a separate video that showed you how to format your paper in MLA style using Google Docs. So please look for the link for that if you haven't done so already. Now, if, I've, if I'm just continuing on from where I am, um, then I just need to show you a couple of things uh, that uh, you need to do as far as going on. All right, so let's go ahead and know a couple of things about the works cited page. So for the works cited page, it needs to start at the top of its own page, and um, anything that you put in the works cited page needs to be cited in the paper and vice versa. So if I have a citation inside the paper, it needs to be in the works cited page. If I list it on my works cited page, it needs to be cited somewhere in the paper. All right, that's just that's just bonus. Uh, yeah, that one's for free. Okay, so since I need, I want it to have the works cited page start on its own page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the very end of my document. And I'm going to go to insert, break, and put a page break in. And that's super important um, because uh, if I don't do that, then um, it'll it'll cause some issues later on, which I'll show you. Okay, now when I've when I've done the page break, now I've already set my indentation. So if you go to Format and you look at a line in indent, okay, indentation options. Right now I have the first line indented. So um, that's a problem when I want to center my works cited thing. So I can do this for a couple different ways. I can just change this to none and apply, and then it pushes it over. So that way when I type in works cited, and then I highlight it and I move it to the center. If I didn't do that, then this whole works cited would be shifted over a little bit, which we don't want to have. We want that to be centered, okay? Now, it's, again, it's works cited, not we're excited. Um, well, maybe we are, but that's not what you put. It should not be bolded, should not be underlined, should not be uh, in quotation marks. And again, it's not references, it's not whatever, it's works cited, okay? And then I hit enter, and I'm gonna go back to left align. Okay, now this is where we're going to put in our, um, our, our our citations. Now, if you're using scholarly sources, again, this video is not going to get into this too much. I'm just going to show you some examples. So let's say I did I was do, this paper was on the lottery by uh, Shirley Jackson, and I found some. Um, going to take me a second because I've been playing with this. All right, so let's say I found this source right here, um, and it's a it's a you know, and I and I quoted something from this. I cited something from this. So I'm just going to go to the cite button. And I'm going to highlight the text. Okay, I'm making sure that it's the MLA in ninth edition. Copy that, go back to my paper, and then I'm gonna paste it. Okay. And then I'm gonna hit enter, and then I'm gonna go to another one. Again, this is another source that I found that I used and I've cited. Hit the cite button. Okay, and then this one I'm gonna copy the information, copy that, go back to this and then paste. Again, I'm not going into the details about what all this gobbledygook is here because I'm just showing you how to format it. Okay, now we've got a few, few problems here um, that this is whatever. Now, all of MLA formatting needs to be in Times New Roman size 12. Well, this one here is in Arial and this one is in here is, in, yeah, Verdana, or I don't know how you pronounce that. Okay, so I'm going to highlight the text and make sure that it's all Times New Roman. And we want to make sure that it's size 12. Okay, so that fixes one of the problems. We've got two more problems we got to deal with. The next problem we got to deal with is the fact that um, the sources need to be in alphabetical order by the last name of the author. If there's no author's last name, then it would be the name of the article. So, for example, if we didn't know who the article that was written by here, the article would be Sacred Violence and Shirley Jackson's, okay, so that we'd go with the letter S, but we know who it is, it was letter B. So B comes before H, so we need to fix that. So I'm just going to highlight that, copy, go before this, hit the enter button, space up, paste, okay, and then get rid of, again, Ted, sorry Ted, we, were, we don't need you twice. Okay, so now we have an alphabetical order. Now we got one more thing we need to do, and then I'll show you why that we did that page break thing. Um, so what we need to do is we need to have this be a hanging indent. So I'd highlight all the text, and I go to Format, and I go to Align and Indent, Indentation Options, and a special indent, I'm gonna go to Hanging. 
hanging and then hit apply. And what that does is that it makes the source be the first line on the far left. So we can clearly easily see that it's in alphabetical order and it makes it easier for us to find which particular source that we, saw, uh, that we cited in the paper, okay? Also, please note that this is all double spaced. There's no extra spaces between uh, sources, okay? Um, and the widest there's a gap here is because it considers this whole big thing one big word and it can't handle that. But that's neither here nor there, okay? So there are those things. Now, why did I have you do the page break? Why didn't I just hit enter a whole bunch of times until we got to the top of the next page? Oh, actually, one other thing I just thought. When I copied this, for whatever reason, you can see, if, you're, if you've got sharp eyes, um, the font also changed color a little bit, which is weird. Now, this isn't really MLA formatting. This is just me being particular. Okay, so I just want to make sure that the text color is all the same. Okay, so now it's all the same. Okay, because I just don't want to be distracted. Okay, now, what? Let's, let's look at the cool thing that we did here with the number. So we did a page break there which allowed us to kind of just get to the next page. So let's say I'm going back and I'm working on my paper. I'm like, oh, I forgot to add some information here. This is like, oh, this is kind of like a key element of my discovery as I was doing my research. And if I don't include this, then it's not really going to make, it's not going to be as strong of a, you know, information that I have, uh, period. Now, I've just added a whole bunch of text. And if I had used the Enter button, that would have pushed the whole thing on the next page down. But since I had just put a page break there, guess what? It's still at the top of the page. Da, 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 da. Isn't that cool? That's, yeah, so that's, that's, that's beautiful. All right. And then also remember that um, it's best practice if you're going to submit something, um, especially for a school, um, you should save it to a file that uh, is, can be accessed by your teacher and your learning management system. And so the, I would strongly recommend that you go to File, and you go to Download, and you save it as a PDF, because that seems to be like a universal um, type of file. So when I open up that PDF that I just did, so here is our paper, and there is our Works Cited page, okay? And that is how you do the Works Cited page using... What did we just use here? <laughs> I'm making so many of these videos uh, using Google Docs. Yes, Google Docs. There you go. All right, you're welcome.